everyone, Angel Baby Yo Yo here and long time no see. I'm sorry guys, I haven't been uploading videos or doing any of that because I've just been so busy and so stressed out with figuring out what I'm going to do in life. But okay, that's a totally different video. So, I have a little bit, if you guys do not know, I like to shop and when I'm feeling stressed out, I tend to shop even more because I it just makes me feel good and I know that's really bad, that's something I'm working on. So anyways, I went on a little shopping spree at a site called YesStyle.com. I don't know if many of you guys have heard of it, but I've actually heard of them since high school. So I know that they've been around for a while, but it is a, I think, um, a Chinese brand or company that, Chinese or Korean, but anyways, they outsource from a lot of different companies as well. And then they sell you the products at like one fulfillment center. So it's kind of like the Amazon of clothing. So they have different brands and stuff like that, but they'll, um, put it all on their website and they'll ship it to you via one box. So I spent almost like 250 on that website because everything was just so cheap and everything looks so cute and kawaii and I was like, oh my god, I need to get everything. So long and behold, after like three hours of shopping, dun, 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 I get this little tiny box. So another thing about them that I was really wary about is that actually they do not do free returns. So return shipping is all on the consumer, so all on you, the customer ba uh, buying whatever. And I think they only offer store credit. I'm not sure about that, but I think something like that. So it's only like exchanges, size exchanges and everything, like store credit only. And when you do ship back the items for an exchange or size exchange, it's not even free shipping back. So you have to pay for that all out of pocket. So you need to make sure that whatever you're purchasing will fit. Because if it doesn't, you're going to have to pay return shipping. And if you're anything like me, I hate paying for like shipping anything. I just don't like it. I feel like I shouldn't be paying for shipping because I'm buying stuff. Anyway, so I spent $250 and it came in this tiny little box which I was super surprised and amazed at because I couldn't believe that all the items that I bought would fit in this like tiny little box. Like that's this $250 right here. Let me show you when it's closed. Like it literally was at my doorstep like this big and I was like, oh my god, that's where all my money went. So. The first thing I bought, if you guys do not know, I love jeans, so I bought this, um, this little patchy jean. Like I said, I am, like, super obsessed with patches at the moment. Oh my god, it even comes with a little Baymax pin. Mm, look at that. Do you guys see that? That is adorable. Oh my god, he's holding a cone. Okay. If you guys do not know, I love Baymax. And then I guess this is the jean itself. It's actually really nice. So I got this in a small because the sizing said that it was supposed to be like 25s to 26s. But I guess we'll see. It looks kind of tiny. But like I said, you guys, I love this whole patchy thing. So I thought this jean was just super cute. Okay, so I bought that. Mm, it kind of has a weird smell to it. Okay, so I bought this blouse. So this blouse I think was, let me see, one size fits all or no, I got it in a medium. I just thought it looked so cute. It's like a whole v-neck thingy off the shoulder. And then I bought this cute little bunny rabbit blouse because you guys do not know I'm also obsessed with anything bunny or bunny related. And it was just so cute. Look at it. It has a bunny rabbit and like a little carrot stitched on its collar. Oh my god, that's so adorable. And I just love collared shirts. And then I bought this turtleneck which I thought was adorable. So this turtleneck was a one size thing. So let's see how their one size is. Yeah, this turtleneck was a one size. It features a cute little heart right here um, on the collar of the neck. And whoa, see? Do you guys see this? One side is, is kind of tiny. Or it's not really tiny, it's kind of short. See, I like my clothing a little bit longer if you guys don't know. See, and this is kind of on the short slash small size. So this is a jumpsuit. So it comes with this little pink top. I got it in a, I think, medium? Yeah. So it comes with this top, which I think is totally adorable, and it comes with the pants as well. So it's like a whole pantsuit kind of thing, which I think, I love pantsuits, guys. I love, like, outfits that are, like, already done. Like, it's like one, like, a jumpsuit of any kind, because you don't really have to think about, like, what you're going to wear. You just slip on this one-piece, like, or two-piece jumpsuit outfit, and you're, like, done. What a breeze. 
And it comes with a little belt, I guess, for tying around something. Okay, and then I bought some accessories. I bought these cute little loafers, as you can see. So it really is kind of like you get what you pay for because I paid like I think $30 or $20 for these shoes. And as you can see, they're not really the best of quality. And what I mean by that is like, you know, you really get what you pay for. So, okay, so inside the shoe, look. The sponge of the shoe is like showing and it's not even seamed down. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see all the autofocus. There we go. See, you see that? They don't even cover that layer. You can see the layer of sponge of the shoe. And there's really not much support. So everything is more just for like fashion and just to look cute, I guess. Not really for comfort or like durability. Let's see. I bought this cute little hat. Let it be. I thought it was so cute. I think this hat was like five or three bucks. So, yeah. And this time they spelled it right, guys. Or maybe <laughs> I can spell today. And yeah, the let it is spelled correctly. <laughs> and then I also bought this cute little. So, like when I'm doing facial masks, sometimes, like even though I have my hair up, it gets like kind of everywhere when I put on the face mask. So, I bought this cute little, like, um, hair band thingy. As you can see, I don't know what it's supposed to be, like clouds or bunnies. But anyways, it's like this hairband. Ah! And so you can wear it on your head when you're doing a face mask or facial to keep all your hair out. And it's like super plush, so it like doesn't hurt or like, you know, ruin your hair. And that's really cute. Ooh, it's kind of tight though. Or maybe I just have a big head, but yeah, pretty cute. Love it, and I think it's washable. I bought it because you can wash it, so yeah, you don't have to worry about it getting like gunk from your face mask because you can just throw it in the washer. So I bought that little pantsy thing, which I thought was so cute because it has embroidered um, plants on them, which is so cute because summertime is coming, and I love rocking these little like Bermuda shorts looking thing, especially because they have embroidered pants. If you guys don't know, I really like things that are embroidered because I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just like embroidered stuff, like things that are embroidered and like bedazzled out, I just love like stuff on clothing. I feel like it makes your clothing not just like 2D, but so much more like 3D, you know, like you can actually feel it and stuff like that. So I love like little details like that. And then I bought more like blouses, because if you guys don't know, I love like blouses and like collared shirts, and this one I thought was so cute because it featured like two like super asian -y. People. Oh my god, and see like what I'm saying? This is like a super crop top. But anyways, look at the top. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? And it says something in Japanese, but I'm not Japanese. I don't know what that says, but that is so cute. It's just so short. Oh my god, what's going on? And then, last but not least, I just bought this tee. That's like a Japanese t-shirt, but I know what it means because they said what it meant in the details. So this is one size too. And like I said, you guys, everything seems like super like short nowadays, like shorter than I expected. Like this is a one size, but it seems like more like a crop top. So like I said, maybe the crop top style is still in. Truthfully, in my opinion, I don't really prefer it because I'm short. So a crop top makes me look kind of even more stagnant and shorter. So I don't really care for the crop top style, but it seems like everything's in the crop top style. So mm. this is okay i would have preferred it to be longer but it's not but hey it's okay I, this was like 10 bucks and um literally this in japanese says like screw human beings or like screw mankind well it doesn't say screw it says the f word but i don't know if i can say that on youtube because youtube might pull my video down and i've already had that happen before so youtube i am like pg rating this video so it says like basically f mankind or f human beings which i think is just so funny and ironic because i have such a dry sense of humor i know that's really bad but it's just like a for like laugh and giggles kind of thing so that was pretty cute and then last but not least yes style oh my god so yes style sells everything they don't just sell clothing they sell things from like home products accessories stationery beauty products like whatever you can think of like yes style most likely will have it so i would compare yes style in a way to like forever but bigger than forever so i would say yes style is kind of like the forever of asia so the forever 21 of asia 
um because they sell just everything and everything is like in cute asian styles everything is really cheap and affordable so that's why i went like a little bit crazy and yeah they have everything from makeup to home accessories i think they even have like little baby clothing as well so if you guys have kids you know feel free to check on their website because they do have baby clothing as well and they even have like little small gadgets and accessories anywhere from like uh iphone chargers to like little night lights so they have like a bunch of stuff and then so i bought some makeup off of their website because they actually sell a lot of japanese and korean makeup and for a really reasonable price too okay so one of the things i bought was a guadatama if you guys do not know who guadatama is he's actually this little character he's like this egg yolk egg that started from i think cacao talk which is uh started from korea but he's like this lazy little egg which i think is he's so cute i think it's a he I don't know if it's a he or she, I don't know, but anyways, I call him a he because he looks like a he and he's this little lazy egg, if you can see under the sticker, and he is like super popular in Asia and like Korea because he's just like, his face literally describes like my mood sometimes and I just love it. And anyway, so they came out with a makeup collaboration and they actually are doing makeup now, so this brand is doing makeup. So Guadatama used to be like an emoticon slash emoji on cacao talk but recently they've like um they've kind of like spread out and they've been doing a lot of different things such as like plush dolls they've been doing stickers like stationery they've become like the new hot item and so they've also been doing makeup products and i've heard great reviews about this makeup product and it's this one's actually their eyeshadow which i bought and am super excited to use it comes in, I think, four colors. There's two kinds. There's the number one kind, which I forgot what it was called. I think it was called, like, coffee or something. And then there's number two. So number two, this one, is the tiramisu. And I'm going to just show you guys, I guess, the color on the tiramisu one. Because it seemed more, like, like usable. Can you see that? Yeah. So it features, like like browns because i use a lot of browns and yeah and this cute little packaging so it features like dark browns light browns it features a shimmer one too it's almost kind of like a rose goldy sandy brown and this was like like less than ten dollars i think like ten to fifteen dollars so i bought that which i'm super excited to try on see how it goes and by the way guys i think cvs is going to be partnering up with them too so if you don't want to buy off of yes style cvs will soon have these guadatama guadatama makeup products i don't even know if i'm saying it right because every time i say the name i want to say guatemala but there's a d in it so it's like guadatama so anyways, these Guadatama's makeup products will also be available at CVS, which I think is just so cool. Because CVS is stepping up their game. And I also bought little cute sunglasses because I always lose my sunglasses. So I just buy cheap ones because, yeah, I always break them or lose them. And these feature that really cool, like, thin metal, you know, side... And then these are, like, I love round sunglass styles. So these are, like, the kitty cat ones. You can see they have a kitty cat detail. So, yeah pretty cute kitty cat kitty cat i don't know if i like that mm. but i don't know i just might have to keep it because i have to pay for return shipping so i just might keep it because it's cheaper for me to keep it than pay for the return shipping but yeah that's the kitty cat sunglass bought this um so i bought another guadatama um i bought this max set which is pretty cool because He's so cute, and yeah, you can always, you know, use some masks. And then I bought this um, mascara. So apparently this mascara is supposed to be like the IT mascara in Japan. So in Japan, they have a lot of different types of mascara and makeup products, but this one's supposed to be like super black, black. Like what you thought was black for black mascara here in America and in the States is apparently not black, because apparently Asians have a darker and deeper version of black i don't know how that's possible but apparently this is like the blackest of the black like mascara so one or two coats of this apparently is supposed to make your eyelashes really long and stand out because it's supposed to be like super super pigmented which i really like because you know my baby lashes are like barely there okay guys so i will be trying on things now so here we go the first thing i think i will try on i guess is this blouse Okay, so the good thing, the top fits really nicely on the top, it's just what happened to the bottom. 
Where's the bottom, guys? Like, are you supposed to wear it like this? I really do love this top. Let me see. I bought it in a... I think I would just have to wear, like, a high-waisted trouser, I think, to cover this or just... I don't know, somehow match this. I don't know, I'll think about it, we'll see. And then let's see the trousers. I guess I'll just try on the trousers now too, since, yeah. Ah, oh, do you see that? Ah, it's so tight. What size did I buy this in? Oh my God. I bought this in a, in a small. I should have bought it in a medium. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I should have known I'm not an Asian small because in Asia their smalls are really small I should have just bought a medium but the sizing was like 26 on the waist or something so the, I'm a 25 on the waist so when it said 26 I was like oh I should be able to fit in that but now that I'm wearing it I'm like oh it's so uncomfortable it would definitely like make me lose weight though because it is like, literally constricting my stomach oh yeah okay so this one might have to be exchanged because yeah, it's really tight. Let me wear my jeans. Let's see my jeans. I hope my jeans fit. I'm doing a jean dance. Oh my god, the jeans do not fit. They're so tight. Oh my god. This is so sad. Oh, I really wanted these jeans to fit because I didn't want to exchange it, but they don't fit. Okay. Let's try this blouse now this was in a medium i think it's supposed to be a very casual blouse yeah yeah this is not how it looked like or how i was expecting it to look like it just looks like a plain top right now but i don't know if i like it or not and the material feels so thin i don't know it feels kind of like cheap like plasticky Okay, now for the bunny blouse. I'm super excited to try this one because I love this one. It's so a definite, yes. I feel like out of all the things so far, this is like the one that is like really true to sizing. And actually, the length is actually really nice. It's actually really like, yeah, it's like a blouse I would buy and it fits really well. So the bunny one is definitely a yes. Um, and then this blue turtle, I mean black turtleneck thingy that is super teeny tiny, this little one size thing. Let's see how this one goes. I really do love turtlenecks because, yeah, but it's not that bad. It's not that small. The only thing is that um, it's really short. So like I was saying with like length of things, like this one's like super short. I would like it to be longer, but it's okay. It fits pretty well. It's super warm. Like it feels really hot already. And I love the little detail of the little heart. I just think that's so cute. Yeah, I love these little stuff, especially like because it's embroidered, like I was saying. It's a little bit loose, but then again, I bought it in a medium because I know I don't fit a small. So that's the pants portion. It's a little bit short, but I think it's just supposed to be like that. And then the top. So it's like a whole pantsuit top thingy, which I think is actually pretty cute. I love the color and the material. It's just a little bit weird fitting. Like, Okay, guys, so that is it for my Yes Style haul and try on. I hope you guys like the video. If you do, please share your love down below and subscribe. So the main tip from this whole video and the whole, like, main, I guess, underlying theme is that be very wary of the sizing and stuff like that because, as you guys can see, I had some sizing issues and I was really thorough with my sizing details. So I would recommend going a size up for a lot of things because Asian sizes tend to be a bit smaller. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, I wish you all of the best and hopefully if you guys do shop on yes style i hope everything fits properly and you don't have to return anything like i will have to do so i will see you guys next time much love and have a lovely week until next time